Hi, I'm Justin from T2K, and in this video, we will be taking a look at voicemail on 3CX. Voicemail on 3CX is really simple to use. Whilst you can still access messages via your desktop phone, we can take it a stage further by using the web client or PWA, and this gives us the benefit of tools like visual voicemail and transcription. And you'll discover that this makes managing your voicemails far simpler and much faster. We're also going to take a look at recording and managing your greetings. Let's open up the web client and take a look. The voicemail window is slightly tucked away on the web client and PWA. You locate it by clicking on the ellipsis icon and then selecting voicemail. Despite it being somewhat hidden, you'll still be notified if you receive a new message. Firstly, you may see a missed call alert against the calls icon. Secondly, you'll see that the ellipsis icon has turned blue, indicating that there is something new to see. And thirdly, depending on the settings your administrator has configured, you may also receive an email like this one. Let's create a scenario to demonstrate. So I've walked away from my desk to make a coffee, and whilst I was away, I've missed a call and it went to voicemail. When I get back to my desk, I can see the following on my PWA. A missed call notification, and the ellipsis icon has gone blue. If I click on the calls icon, I can see the missed call, and I could just click on the phone icon to return the call, but as the ellipsis is blue, I'm going to check for a voicemail. I'll click on the ellipsis, then next to voicemail, I can see a badge confirming that I do indeed have a new voicemail, so I'm gonna click on this. Now I can see my new voicemail message in bold, together with any other messages that I've received and not yet deleted. For each message, you can see the details of the caller. This will be their phone number, and if they're in your contact directory, you'll also see their name. Next, we can see the date, time, and the duration of the message that's been left. To the right of these details, you'll see a selection of icons that will help you handle the voicemail. The first icon is to download the message. Clicking this will download the voicemail as a WAV file that can be saved and shared as required, just like you would with any other file on your computer. Next is the play icon. Click this and you'll see the phone system calls you back from play file. When I answer the call, I'll listen to the message. The phone icon allows me to ring the caller back just like so. And the trash can will delete the voicemail. As you can see, you'll receive a warning message before it's actually deleted. The final icon is the party piece of the voicemail system. This will show you a transcription of your voicemail. Now this is an optional service that requires a Google speech to text API, which does cost a little bit extra each month, but we love this feature and it can be a huge time saver as I can simply read the premise of the voicemail and click the phone icon to ring the caller back rather than having to go through the rigmarole of listening to the voicemail. When you have listened to a voicemail, the bold type will change to regular, but if you just read the transcription, it will not. So to mark the voicemail as heard, but not delete it just yet, click on the message to select it, and just above you'll see some new icons have appeared. Click the mark as heard icon, and you'll see the bold font has now changed to regular. You can manage multiple voicemails at once by clicking to select them, then click either the delete or mark as heard icons at the top to affect every selected message. Right, so now you have a great understanding on how to use and manage the voicemails you receive. So we'll move on to look at how we manage the greetings that you play to your callers. To do this, click on your avatar in the top right hand corner and then click on settings. From the drop down menu, we're going to click and select greetings. And if you're on the PWA, it's well worth expanding this window a little to make things a bit easier to see like so. Here we can see all of our availability profiles listed. If you haven't already watched our video about using availability profiles, click on the link in the top right of your screen now to find out all about them. Each of the statuses can have a different greeting applied. So for example, on my away from desk profile, I could record a greeting that differs to the one that I use when I'm on holiday. This is really useful and can help prevent you still having a voicemail greeting that informs the caller you're on holiday until a date that was sometime last week. Let's run through how we add new greetings. The first option is to upload a pre-recorded file. 
We can do this by clicking the upload icon next to the status we wish to apply it to. We then browse for the file on our computer and click on open. Whilst this is a straightforward process, the file type that you upload needs to be a WAV file with very specific settings, otherwise it just won't work. There is a conversion tool that you can use to convert MP3 files to the correct WAV format and the link is on your screen now. If you have a headset or a microphone attached to your computer, a simpler option is to directly record your greeting. To do this, click the microphone icon and you are now prompted to enter a file name. Make this descriptive, for example, holiday August 2024 or my default greeting. Once you've entered the name, click the microphone to start your recording. When you've finished, click on the big microphone to stop the recording. You will now be able to review the recording you've made. If you'd like to re-record it, click on the circular arrow icon to start again. To re-listen, click the play icon, and when you're happy with the recording, click the upload icon. You'll now see that the greeting you recorded will be displayed next to your chosen status and listed with the file name you chose. This greeting can now be selected on any of the statuses by clicking the relevant drop-down box. An alternate method of recording the greeting is to use your phone extension. To do this, click on the phone icon, enter a file name for your greeting, click OK and the phone system will call you back from record file. Answer the call and follow the voice prompts to record your greeting. To save message, press zero. To repeat, re your message saved. Once you've finished recording from your phone, you need to refresh the web client or PWA to see your new greeting. As I mentioned earlier, you can have a different greeting for each status. However, if for the most part you want to use the same greeting and perhaps use something different for Do Not Disturb, set your default greeting in the top row, then set everything else apart from Do Not Disturb to Play Default. This will play whatever greeting you've selected in the top row. On Do Not Disturb, I can select the alternate greeting and that's it, they're all configured. If you wish to delete a greeting, click on the drop-down box and click the trash can next to the greeting you wish to delete. Alternatively, select the greeting and then click on the trash can icon here. And that wraps things up for this video. I hope that you found it useful. If you have, please do give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.